paper by Geiger et al. of Freiburg University, originally published in 2001, highlighted the link between slice quality and the so-called z-axis deflection of the slicing mechanism. Z-axis deflection refers to the vertical vibration of the blade during its lateral vibration. The vibrating mechanism of the 7000 SMZ Mark II slicer has been designed and assembled so that any Z-axis deflection evident during its lateral vibration is restricted to less than 1 micron. There are inevitable small manufacturing variations in all mechanical components such as the blade holder, the mounting arrangement and even the blade itself. These all combine to make fitting the blade so that its edge is in perfect alignment with the lateral vibration axis very difficult. To minimise trauma to the specimen, the cutting edge of the blade should be aligned as closely as possible with the lateral vibration axis. If you look closely at the blade holder, you will see that it is secured to the face plate of the cutting head by three screws. You will also notice that the blade holder has an open slot in its right hand side. A differential screw mechanism arranged vertically within the blade holder across the slot allows fine adjustment of the slot width to be made. By adjusting the slot width we can change the angle of the blade edge relative to the cutting head and thus to the lateral vibration axis. So if you loosen the lower screw, the one on the right hand side of the blade holder, you will be able to use a hexagonal key to turn the differential screw and change the slot width. In conjunction with the National Physical Laboratory of the UK, we have developed a non-contact method of measuring the blade alignment. This is our Optical system. It is plugged into the slicer and will then detect the blade edge and measure its alignment with the lateral motion axis, so that you can make any adjustments required. Here we will demonstrate its use. Once you have fitted the new blade, use the menu key to enter the main menu screen and scroll to the option Blade Alignment and follow the instructions on the screen. Connect the optical unit. Once you have done this, the instrument will reposition the vertical stage and ask you to fit the optical unit to the stage. Confirm that it has been fitted and confirm the type of blade. The instrument will now reposition the blade edge relative to the optical unit and ask you to press the slice on off key to initiate blade vibration. The current blade alignment error will now be displayed so press the slice on off key again to stop the vibration. On the blade holder, loosen the lower screw slightly and using a hexagonal key, turn the differential screw slightly in one direction. Retighten the lower screw and press the slice on off key to start vibration. The optical will reassess the blade alignment error. If the error has increased, you should turn the adjustment screw in the opposite direction. If the error has reduced, you should turn the screw once more in the same direction. Repeat this process until the alignment error has been minimised. Once you have completed the alignment procedure, press the return key and follow the on-screen instructions.